Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akosia Benhine. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what do you do? I miss you. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full face makeup tutorial. If you love full face videos, then you love this one. This is a beginner friendly full face makeup tutorial. Kind can see me, okay? So please keep on watching and without further ado, my loves, let's get right into the video. I felt like my intro was very straight to the point but happy new year guys if um, this is our first video first makeup video for the year 2022 so happy new year to you and yours your family I hope you guys are doing well I hope the new year is going well for you if it is I'm happy for you if it's not I pray that you get everything that your heart desires okay so Let's get into the video. First things first, skin prep, prepped, good to go. I actually have a makeup video that I'm working on, not makeup video. I have a video, skin prep video that I'm working on for you guys, showing you guys how to prep your skin for makeup, the best way to do it, and um, the best way to get like the good results out of your makeup from your skin prep. You know, cause skin prep goes a long way to making your makeup game look good. You know what I mean? So yeah. I haven't done this in a long time so forgive me if I sound a little shaky okay it's just what it is I'll ease into it I'll be okay relax now I'm gonna get into my primer for primer I'll use the red this is not red beauty what this is Yves Saint Laurent this is <laughs> this is YSL Yves Saint Laurent <laughs> I love this stuff okay it's so little but it goes a long way i'm just gonna put a little bit of that in the areas where i have large pores i always say this you want to keep your primer in the areas where you need it to be so this is a blotting lotion so it's usually for areas where you have oils so if you're oily then this stuff will be really good for you okay it's actually really nice so i'll try to link it below just in case you're interested um, and as of late I like to just leave my primer on for just about a few seconds you know so that it gets proper tacky like my skin absorbs whatever it needs to do I get the protection out of it and then I'll top it up with the next product that I need to do <laughs> then I'll top it up with the next product that I need to go in with okay so next, I'm gonna go in with my foundation. This is the Maybelline Tinted Moisturizer. I actually have a review video on this. I'll link it up here if you're interested. And then my ever, ever favorite, <laughs> Superstay Full Coverage. I love this, except that this is my summer foundation, so it's pretty dark. And then this is my winter, but this is just a tad lighter. I don't know why, but it's just a tad lighter, so I like to, pair it with this and then together oh my god let me just show you guys what it looks like do you guys see that <laughs> it is literally the perfect combination if it looks a little light it will be because i used too much of the 370 and see how it covers the dark spots it covers it up like boom so see what it looks like it's a perfect shade match for my neck so also always i use my foundation brush and then i'll go right with my beauty blender to just like give it a more skin like finish next i'm gonna go in with my concealer and the secret <laughs> the secret sauce okay to a full face and getting that flawless under eye is layering your concealer if i've never said it before i'm saying it today guys layer your concealer use a shade that is very close to your skin and then use a shade that is a little lighter okay if you like very bright you can go like proper bright but just layer your concealer it will make you look flawless so i'm going to start off with the juvia's place concealer stick in the shade namibia and then i'll go in with l'oreal infallible pro matte in the shade 45 415 honey i'll link all these stuff down below from my amazon storefront just in case you want them
I'm going to go right with this, the L'Oreal, and I like to usually concentrate on my under eye. See? See how beautiful that is? It's just you should layer a concealer okay if you don't do it this is your sign to start okay and then next i'm gonna go in with my contour also from juvia's place i'm gonna use um, just a little bit of that because this is really pigmented so i don't like to do too much with it Next, I'm going to go ahead and set my highlighted areas with my Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder. Love this stuff. Hands down my favorite drugstore setting powder. Loose setting powder. Love it. It's so good. And then next what I'm going to do is actually set all of this in place. Now this is another trick that I've been doing as of late. This makes your makeup last a long time, okay? This works so well. So I'm just going to set this and go in with the next part of my makeup. Okay guys, so now while this is still in place and um, setting, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. I don't want to include that in this video so that it's so long so I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back and then we'll do the eye and finish off the look together okay okay guys so I finished my brows and next I'm gonna go into the eyes for my eye area I'm gonna use the elf 16 hour camo concealer this is in the shade light beige I'll use that to prep my eyelid And I'm not even gonna set that, I'll leave that and just use my eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Holy Fame collection. This was a part of their Christmas collection, so if you didn't catch that video, I'll link it down below. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen that. It has um, just an extensive, like, <laughs> shade range it has blushes it has highlighters bronzers um and eyeshadow so i'll be using the eyeshadow bits of that okay so i'll take my first shade which is a dark shade and i'll just use that as my crease shade it's giving a little ashy but i don't know if that's because of the concealer that i used i'm gonna keep building the color to see what this will look like generally this palette i love it <laughs> i was gonna say i like it and then i said i love it but generally this palette is good it hasn't given me like any problems yet this is the only time i feel like a shade is looking ashier than i would have wanted it to look but okay okay i think it's gonna work so let me just keep building the shade and see how it looks like okay I love it it doesn't look as bad as I thought it was looking in the beginning now I want to just you know tone it down a little it looks too dark for me so I'm gonna go into a warmer shade the shades are written on the back so I don't I don't want to turn the palette around every time that I talk about the shade so I'm just gonna use that to blend out the outer areas so that I have like a nice ombre blend see what it does
So next I'm gonna go in with my glitter shade. I actually wanna cut my crease so that it's nice and popping. So I'll still use the same concealer that I use. I'm gonna just use that to cut my crease and then I'll fill it up with the glitter shade. You know what? The brush is actually not working for the glitter shade. I think my finger will work best. Do you guys see what it looks like? It is so beautiful. Comment down below if you see the actual shade. It is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love this so much. This is the prettiest shade I have seen in a while. Like, I've seen eyeshadow shades, but this is the prettiest I've seen in a while. It has a lot of fallouts. I hate that, but I love the shade so much, you know? So, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Now, what I wanna do is put a lighter shade in the inner corner just to sort of brighten that up a little. So I'm gonna do gold, there's this gold up here. And I'll just place that. See what I'm doing? Love that. Oh, this is giving me Egyptian goddess vibe. Like this is exactly the eyeshadow that I'll do if I was an Egyptian goddess. I'm not even lying. Ooh. It's so pretty. Next, I'm going to go in with the same dark shade that I used for the outer area to just sort of blend it out and finish it off really nicely. Ah, oh, tell me that you're not going to wear this for a really luxury night out. Like, wow. Wow. I'm shook. I love the fact that um, I really don't think my eyeshadow looks through. I honestly sometimes I don't know what look I'm gonna create a lot of the times not even sometimes I'm not <laughs> let me not front a lot of the times I don't know what look I'm doing for you guys I just turn on my camera knowing that I'm gonna film something nice and you know and then I just end up doing something mind-blowing and then I'm like oh I love it eyeshadow creation is it for me this is it this is this is literally what the eye area is going to look like. And then to fix my under eye, because there's just a little overlap with the dark shade, I'm going to take my powder and then just I totally love the eye look. Next, I'm gonna go in with my mascara. Okay guys, so that's the eye look. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat literally the same thing on this eye. And I don't wanna do that on camera because I took my time with this, so I'll just do this really quickly and come back and then we'll finish up the rest of the look together, okay? Okay guys, so the whole eye look is done. I am obsessed, okay? Next, I'm gonna go in with my blush, good old blush. <laughs> okay, rosy cheeks, rosy cheeks, <laughs> love it. And then next I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So just a little high cheek situation and we're good. See? It's like I'm not doing too much but you definitely see that I have a high cheekbone. Don't tell me that you don't see it. You see it, but it's like you don't see it. And as of late I just like to keep my highlighter here, like right here. In this little bit initially I used to just like drag it all over like here 
I mean, I still might just do here. If you guys hear, yeah, if you guys hear anyone in the background, that is just my daughter, okay? She lives here, she owns the house. <laughs> so you know what I mean. And next, I mean, yeah, final part of the face, I'm gonna set my face with my setting spray. I love the skin work, I love the eye look, everything is just how I wanted it to turn out. It's like I envisioned it before, nothing, okay? But I love how it's turned out. So now what I'm gonna do is um, finish off, you know, do the, the things that's needed to be done to make me look like a body, okay? Right now I look like 80% body. Let me finish the whole transformation and I'll come back and then we'll finish off um, the conversation, okay? <laughs> okay guys, so this is the finished look. I don't think I like my lips so much, but it's gonna do for now. I'm not actually going anywhere. I just decided to film this look for you guys. But this is the finished look guys this is the finished look love my hair love this hair it's going on three years now quality hair okay i'll link the brand down below if you're interested um and also guys my lashes i get a lot of questions about these set of lashes they are from kiss i will link them down below they are so affordable but the quality that you get with these lashes are crazy okay i have washed them so many times i always wash them on fridays or saturdays i always wash them and they come back looking just as good as new so i love it i love the fact that you can reuse it that's the one thing i like about it and it's also perfect for my eye shape so if you like these type of lashes it's nice it's full but it doesn't feel like you have too much on you know some lashes definitely will feel like i always say this it feels like you have an umbrella literally sitting on your eyes but this doesn't feel like that so if you want to check it out i'll link it down below for you but yeah this is the finished look guys so comment down below let me know what you think comment down below do you like the eye look is this something that you're going to recreate um generally i love it i'm gonna give it a 10 over 10 of course what are you thinking <laughs> but um i want you to rate it down below tell me what you think like um love it don't like it whatever i don't know <laughs> just right now comment down below let me know what you think about the eye look if you like it let me know if you don't be nice about it um but that's it for today's look if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel that's also if you're interested in the type of content that i do of course subscribe to the channel become a member of the family i'd love to have you here every day I mean, I'd love to have you here whenever I post a video, okay? So subscribe to the channel. Also, please turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any video that I post, okay? Turn the bell button on so you don't miss any video that I post. I'd love for you to do that. And also, please follow me on Instagram. Akusia Benhini. Matter of fact, Akusia Benhini across all social media platforms, but I do a lot of content on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram, okay? And if you want more makeup videos like this, I'll link some down below or right here on the screen for you to check it out. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. <laughs>